And finally, Carmen, this is the question that we're asking everyone in this series. Um, you kind of touched on it a little bit there with, with from, from a leader perspective. But, but how can HR, how can we as HR um, help the business identify and prioritize the critical skills it needs for the future? Yeah, uh, David, it's a great question. I mean, I think that really speaks to the nature of true human capital planning. So how do we connect the business strategy with the people plan to get and really get a true understanding of what are the capabilities that we need to deliver on today, but also like how do we take a forward look and understand how the business is evolving and what capabilities we're going to need uh, in the future uh, and forward thinking, helping the leaders to think forward to how, if there are gaps, um, how might we close them? And I think the only way to do this is really thinking about how, like, do you know your talent um, and do you know the capabilities that are going to be required to live, deliver against the plans? And then how do you think about growing your talent or, uh, or acquiring the capabilities that you're going to need in the future. So I, I would think, you know, that's that's one one thing. And then I guess the other is um, just to harken back a little bit to our earlier conversation. Kind of be willing to um, throw out your old playbooks and reimagine uh, what the business needs now. In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe via your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.